Hey y'all. Obviously, I'm looking a little bit crazy. I just got out the shower and I am just really excited because today is my fall collection. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm like really nervous about it just because like I just launched the spooky collection two weeks ago and that's always one of our best collections of the year. So it's like to go from like the best collection of the year to fall, I'm like, oh, I hope I get some money, honey, and some orders. So my launch isn't until six and it's only 12 o'clock. So I have six hours. So I decided like, why not just get a little dolled up, take a shower, make some dinner. I put quotes on dinner because I'm technically making it for lunch, but I'll eat it for dinner too. Um, I don't really know. And like, I was considering like, maybe I should clean the house. No. Every time I do that, every time I'm like, oh, let me get stuff done before I launch something. By the time I get to the launch, I'm like, on the live, I'm so tired. So I'm taking this day to relax, okay? I don't know if any other, I'm sure anybody can relate, not even just small business owners, but like, I feel like if I'm not doing, like working, I'm not doing something, so if I'm not working, I'm like, oh, I should be cleaning, I should be doing something. If I'm not doing something just in general, I start to feel guilty, like, we need to stop this mindset. I say we as a collective group, okay? So I'm a liar. <laughs> I love how I said I'm gonna relax. I never get to sit down. I'm always doing something. Uh, I just realized I do have to go out and do something. I am missing some flowers for my wedding. If you don't know, I'm DIYing a lot of it. And I say me, I mean my grandma. She's like the DIY queen. So I have to go to Hobby Lobby. It's like 20, 25 minutes away. And near Hobby Lobby is like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all tons of four. So it's like, you know, while I'm at Hobby Lobby getting these flowers, I might as well stop over there and shop a little bit. Like there's just something in me I can never relax. How do you get yourself to sit down on that couch, sit down in bed and do nothing all day? I physically can't do it. I, I can't, like, even if I'm not doing anything productive, I'm like, you know what, let me go to Marshalls. Let me go to TJ Maxx. Let me, let me go see my dogs. Like, I, I think it's because for me personally, I associate, like, bed rotting with depression, which is the truth. Like, when I was depressed, I would just, like, sit in bed all day and do nothing. So I think that's why my brain's now, like, get up, you gotta get up, you gotta do something, da da da, or else you're gonna get depressed again, which I'm not depressed. But, maybe that's why. Am I using my psychology degree? Hmm? <laughs> Our first stop is TJ Maxx because I'm on like a strip of just store, 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 restaurant, food, da da da, whatever. And I feel like it just made the most sense to go and order this way. So we'll go to TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, Sonic for a milkshake. You know, my wedding's in 21 days at this point. I don't even care. I don't care. I have a stomach. Everybody who's attending knows that, whatever. But I just wanted to talk to y'all really quick. I have been, just been feeling so discouraged lately. Especially with like TikTok. Because this is not me. This is not my feelings. This is just the truth of the matter. They have only been pushing out TikTok shop. And which I get it. Okay. They want to make their money. And so there's some small businesses who are thriving on there. I'm especially happy for the small businesses. Not so much happy for the big corporations who are now taking over. And just like my whole feed is just like nothing but all these people, all these huge brands who are on TikTok shop now going on live. And that's who TikTok is pushing. That's who TikTok is pushing because they want money. And lately they've been having like mega lives with um, these businesses where they go on live for 12 hours and they have like flash sales and things like that but it's with the help of tiktok directly like that's not me assuming it like the brand say it, like oh yeah tiktok helped me with this like they create the backdrop which is really nice but they're also helping them get pushed out like no joke i saw them um there was three mega lives happening one of them was glam light one of them was a uh, boss of Com cosmetics and the third one was some like face thing i don't remember their name but i've seen them all over my for you page um 
and they specifically say mega live from tiktok and no joke as i'm scrolling my feed every other video is one of their lives or if it's not one of their lives it's an ad promoting the live um and it's just like so frustrating for us people who aren't on tiktok shop especially i can't like if i could be on tiktok shop i would but because of what i sell they're like oh you sell weapons like you can't sell that um and i've just had nothing but trouble it's just like so discouraging because like they're not pushing us out because they want money and it's like <sighs> like what the heck are we supposed to do like i'm still going live every day i'm still posting and of course i have other forms i have ads take to, um instagram facebook snapchat whatever but it's just like it feels very defeating very very defeating and it just feels kind of pointless like why am i putting myself out there if all they're promoting are these big companies now like because they're the ones making them the money like tiktok was a much better place before these big companies found out about it like who remembers back in 2020 2021 when the big brands if they did have tiktok they were barely posting because they didn't understand how it worked and us small businesses were running it mm -hmm, period like can we go back to that please <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you i did cut my trip very short because i'm skirt 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 all right we're in the cart tj maxx it hits me I still got to cook a whole dinner. I still got to make emotes for this live. I got to be at work by 5.30. Before that, actually, because I want to see how the subscribers shop. Still got to make sure the text is sent out. I was like, yeah, no, we, we got to hurry. So I only got one thing from CG Max. Cutest little gingerbread cups. This is only $13. Very cutesy. My favorite part is the little uh, straw toppers. Um, I actually did get this a few days ago. But then when I came home, it was broken. So I'm going to return the other one, keep this version, obviously. Um, and then I just ended up going to Hobby Lobby, right, Hobby Lobby right after. And I didn't bring you guys with me because I didn't want you guys to see what color flowers I was getting and things like that. So you got to stay tuned October 18th for that. Uh, and then I, I took my butt home. No Marshalls, no Sonic, no nothing. Like You should be proud of me. That's how you know I'm stressed out. When I didn't stop at Marshalls, we got a problem. We got a big fat problem. <laughs> So if you don't know, I am a really extremely picky eater. I was on live earlier um, getting ready and telling the girls like, yeah, super picky. Here's a little fun fact about me. I actually only eat tacos if I'm the one making it. If I'm at a restaurant, somebody else makes it, nah, because I'm too shy to say like, oh, I only like the beef and cheese in it. That's it. I don't put nothing else. Well, at home, I dice up, on well, I buy diced onions and then I put them in the beef. So I technically have beef, cheese, and onions. Um, that's only because I'm making it and I'm seeing what I'm doing. Like, I don't know. I just, I, I have issues. There's something wrong in here. Because if if it looks weird, I'm not going to try it. If it if it's a texture thing, I'm not going to eat it. Like, I wish I wasn't like this, but I can't help it. I will show you guys how I make my tacos. And I'm also making rice and beans on the side. I was so busy devouring the food, I almost forgot to show you all. Scrum dilly, yum, 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 yum. Just got to work. First of all, can we appreciate the backdrop? Isn't it so cute? Very much matches the vibe. That's why I wore the flannel today, so we could match this, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my Shopify. I haven't looked. Subscribers have been shopping for 10 minutes and we're almost at 50 orders and sees anything almost gone of course the most popular safety keychain is uh the mystery which i suspect it but the good thing is that they haven't sold us out of anything yet 
Let me go ahead and show you the collection since I didn't make a behind the scenes for any photo shoots. The reason I don't do it for every collection is it really depends on my mood that day and I didn't feel like recording. So we first have our autumn safety keychain here made by grandma, has like this burnt orange sunflower, very typical fall colors. And we have a second Hammy by Grandma Scrunchie. This one is inspired by like a flannel. Like everybody wears flannels in the fall. And so I went with orange and blue because I feel like we don't really ever have this color combo. Cute. We have perfect pumpkin. So I decided to bring pumpkins, of course. Like I have to have pumpkins. But make it cheetah print because I have had my own cheetah print pumpkin keychain. And every time I would show the live, because sometimes people are interested in seeing like what I have for myself. They're like, please bring it, please bring it. I brought it and yes, it's handmade by grandma and I love how the pom-pom matches. So that's cute. Then we have Haley. Haley the Scarecrow. This is our first time ever having a Scarecrow and I should have mentioned, this is actually my third fall collection since I've opened my business and it has an orange glitter inside. I feel so weird not having my nails. And then we have Brood but like spelled with a double O since there's a ghost on here. And some people were confused as to why I put a ghost pom-pom. If you look very closely, okay, those white things in the coffee, those are ghosts. So it's coffee with ghosts in it, pumpkins, leaves. Really, really cute. And what I didn't know about this pom-pom until yesterday, I was like, oh guys, look how soft it is. Why is there a dog squeaking in there? I don't know. It was not advertised as a dog toy because if it was a dog toy, it wouldn't come with this little part because the dogs can like choke and die on that. But it's really, really cute. And of course, the mystery is a mystery. The only things I said about the fall mystery is that it's obviously fall related. And I did say it has pumpkins on it because I don't want people to be like disappointed and be like, oh, well, I got brood and I got cheetah pumpkin and now my mystery's coming with pumpkins. It does have some pumpkins on it, but that's not the main theme of it. The main theme is something we've never had before. So put your guesses in the comments on what you think it is. I feel like by the time you're seeing this video, it'll be sold out. But I think it's really, really cute. I really didn't want to make it a mystery, but you guys really like mysteries. Um, and as for the accessories, I decided to only bring three. This is like the normal size of our collections. We have six keychains, three accessories, some orange bling kitty knuckles. As soon as I released my bling collection back in July, I saw these, I was like, yes, I'm gonna save this for spooky or fall. We have the cutest little pumpkins. I don't know if the camera's catching it, but it has a little bit of glitter on it. Okay. And my favorite accessory for this collection says tis the season i'm keeping one for myself i'm keeping one because she's so cute i love it i love it i love it um but i have a feeling maybe one of the accessories we saw today the mystery and one other keychain but my real goal is to sell out the whole collection that's kind of crazy, but I don't think it'll happen. Um, and I'm gonna try to see, ooh, I don't know if we're gonna get it. I was trying to get to 67,500 today. We would need 131 more orders. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. A girl could dream, but it's fine. <laughs> and how did I forget one of the most important parts? As always, I have free gifts for you guys as a thank you for shopping. And I decided to give 50 people this cinnamon apple wristlet completely for free as long as they order from the fall collection. Doesn't matter if you order just the pumpkin or you want to order the whole collection. Um, so in order to make it fair, because obviously the first 50 shoppers are subscribers, like we're already at 47, it will be the first 25 subscribers who ordered get it for free. And then the first... Uh, non-subscribers at six o'clock they'll get it for free too shout out to almost 400 people who are in my live tonight i am a bit nervous that i won't be pushed out like normal because i know that a lot of mega lives are going on like i was talking about earlier in my vlog but shout out to them for still showing up and supporting it is officially 6 13 and the mystery just sold out yeah and yes, the bullhorn is necessary to get people's attention. It did oversell by one. I 
that just means two people were checking out at the same time. But I really do feel like I need to start up in the ammo for this mystery because they have been selling out in 10 minutes or less. Like, this, this is nuts. Nuts to butts. While I'm here printing orders, I figured I would tell y'all a little bit of a story time. So I'm currently working on another collection. Yes, I'm always working on collections. Like, honestly, I'm always doing something. And tell me why I had two issues of vendors. Same night. One vendor, they I ordered some pom-poms. Cool, cool, cool. Didn't think anything of it. So I ordered off the website. And like any other normal website, when you're checking out... Let's say you bought a $50 item. They're like, hey, shipping's $5. I pay $55 total, blah, blah, blah. Making out numbers. Tell me why the vendor then messaged me, emailed me like, oh, hey, um, so actually you owe $36 more because you live in a remote area. What do you mean? Like, first of all, I don't live in a remote area. And then I was like, um... Why would I have to pay more money even if I did live in a remote area? So like, well, that's what FedEx says. I said, okay, well, I say, how about you cancel my order then? Then they magically, 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 magically. Or like, oh, actually, you don't have to pay the fee. You could just pay, you, we'll just ship it through FedEx. I mean, through DHL. I said, yeah, that's what I thought because I'm I'm not paying. Even though it's only $36, it's like the principle of the situation. Like, why would I pay extra money? And then another vendor tried to play in my face too, very badly. So I ordered something. I can't say what it is. I ordered something. And I realized I ordered the wrong amount. I was like, oh, dang, I was supposed to order 25 more. No big deal. Cool, cool, cool. I'll order the 25 more. Let me just tell them, hey, can you add 25 more to my order? Let's pretend I was ordering pepper sprays. Hey, can you order 25 more pepper sprays? They were like, yeah, no problem. We can add it. But you actually also owe 600 more dollars on top of the 25 things you're ordering. Huh? What do you mean? They're like, oh, the shipping costs. My exact words to them were, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. Why would I owe six hundred more dollars? They're like, oh, it's just the shipping, cause how much it weighs. If it actually weighed that much, when I was checking out, you would have said, hey, shipping is six hundred dollars, and I wouldn't have bought from you. That's how the vendors get you. So if there's any small businesses listening, how the vendors get you, how they try to take your money, they'll put it really, really cheap, and then after you pay, they're like, well, actually, you owe this much more money, and they do that for that reason or because they want people to be more inclined to buy from them because they see that cheap price and then they're really like, oh, well it actually cost $600. So I was like, yeah, no, you could cancel my order. Thank you very much. And, and then they were like, oh, can you cancel it? No. I said, no, since you are the one who thinks I owe more money, you could cancel it. And they went and canceled it. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing all that. So these vendors are getting out of hand, man. You gotta be careful. Don't get scammed out here, all right? Two hours in, and we just sold out of Miss Perfect Pumpkin. I guess I won't fight y'all now, because when I announced this one, I did, I'm not gonna lie, I did threaten my broadcast channel. I said, why I order? I couldn't say anything else because I didn't want to get banned. Because they harassed me for this cheetah pumpkin and they just sold it out. So you know what? Maybe I'll listen to some more of your requests because I'm not gonna lie, lately y'all be requesting stuff and they're not buying it. But today you just proved, ask and you shall receive. So, this is evidence. If you harass me enough for something, I'll bring it back. Or I'll not bring it back. I'll bring it or bring it back. Period. So, I just ended my live. And I'm not going to lie. I'm, like, kicking myself in my butt. Because, like, I, like... You guys know how I am. If I make a goal in my head and I don't reach it, I think I'm a loser. So my goal was to get 200 orders today. And we ended up with 138, which is, is still really good. Um, and we did sell out of 
two safety keychains, zero accessories, which I'm actually like really shocked about. I don't know. I don't know. I just like thought it would go a lot better and <sighs> I'm just kind of sad about it. Like it's really good, but like <sighs> I'm just so hard on myself. I'm very, very hard, but I'm hoping that throughout the whole weekend I can sell out of more stuff. Like both of the scrunchies actually are almost completely gone. There's four and five left. So, you know, I think it also doesn't help that the last collection was spooky and it was so huge. And like, like I said, like one of my best collections of the year. And then to go like to this, I'm like, oh, okay. So let's just, let's just go home. Come on, come on. I look exhausted. I've been trying to do this take a million times, but Carlos is recording, whatever. Um, I thought I was gonna film more than this, but honestly, I'm not gonna do anything besides lay down in bed and watch TikToks. So we're gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna try not to beat myself up tonight, but if you guys want more vlogs or if you have any other video suggestions, let me know in the comments. Bye.